So another really, you know, we, we, I, we mentioned the relation between modes of transportation and rather than having modes just compete with each other in the marketplace, but actually having planners, business people, and community and policymakers think together about how various modes should be used as part of a multimodal optimal system. So that's one level of coordination and collaboration. I, the more we think about what is sustainable industrial development, our conception of that, our, our, our body of thinking about that is expanded to include, well, where do we want to move goods from and to? And isn't transportation really only optimized if you're also the community, the society, the, the state, the region is thinking about? land use and where do you want to place factories, natural resources, where do you want to you know, get your natural resources from, where do you want to take them to, where do you want to do your processing, rather than just thinking about where land is available and cheapest, for instance, or where it fits in with one business's business model, or we want to start very you know, urgently thinking out where can we locate a processing facility where it has the least environmental impact given that any processing facility is not a standalone entity it has incoming supply chain and outgoing distribution channels that require the transportation system so how what are the environmental and quality of community life impacts of that transportation and the whole supply chain and how can we be placing the elements of that supply chain from source to processing to distribution to end users in a way that allows for sustainable communities and a sustainable environment and sustainable commercial activity.